we are going to today discuss about FAR now you have heard about FAR at many places now what is FAR FAR is floor area ratio and it is also known as floor space index you know when it is called a ratio it is the ratio between two values which I'm going to talk about when it is called floor space index it is noted in percentage so if the FAR is 1.5 then the FAR value will be 1.5 FAR whereas if the FAR is FSI then it will be denoted as 150% FSI now the value of FAR is floor cross floor area divided by plot area now what is the value of this you know what is the purpose of this FAR now this is used to you know denote density in a city in an urban area in a township in a development so the more the FAR the more would be the density because the higher the building will go the number of floors are going to increase apart from FAR there are other things like number of dwelling units permitted and ground coverage which you know together form the parameters which define the density of a particular city as to how much of people are living per square kilometer of that city now FAR in India it's called FAR or FSI depends upon different municipalities and uh, it's also called FSR floor space ratio in some countries plot ratio site ratio GPR or gloss gross plot ratio these are some different names of this basic concept of FAR itself now this was actually uh, has its origin in public health because they wanted to make sure that the cities you know in the early 19s uh, were properly designed as if uh, they had proper public health measures proper light ventilation which could be possible by regulating how buildings actually really really grow now FAR of course will also include the land value because uh, a particular land you know if you are letting uh, people grow only up to let's say FAR is equal to 1 so you know people can only make buildings as high as this but if the same building uh, can grow because of FAR 5 for example it can go 5 times that so that means that land which are earlier housing let's say five stories now is having 25 stories that means uh, more value to that land the number of dwellings that can be made in the same land increase so the land value will increase but because of this certain availability suddenly you will have a lot of dwelling units available in a city so FAR is definitely a good idea you know as a regulatory mechanism and also you know if you want to really have you know a trajectory for a city to develop to become magnet of economic activity to become magnet of commerce you need to have a lot of people in a particular area you know all together because that kind of creates this culture of uh, you know the boiling pot culture just like few mega cities in the world are called boiling pots because they bring in diverse people from around the world to them uh, you know to these cities and uh, commercial activity happens innovation happens creativity happens now there are two schools of thought with respect to how FAR should be regulated should it be there in the first place or not and uh, eventually that is linked to whether densities in a city should be regulated or not now before that before I start talking about the two schools of thought I want to give an example of a development in New Delhi that was the East Kidwai Nagar now East Kidwai Nagar is basically government land where government central government had a lot of uh, these uh, quarters government quarters which were basically ground floor ground floor first floor third floor staircase in the middle like G plus one quarter typical quarter which uh, which were uh, which is a relic of the British colonial time quarter that we had in India now these quarters were there in the whole of Kidwai Nagar these quarters are still there in Lakshmi Bhai Nagar and many other 
دہلی گورنمنٹ سینٹرل گورنمنٹ گورنمنٹ کوارٹر ایریاز ان ڈیلی سو واٹ دے ڈڈ از دے ڈڈ اوے ود دیز کوارٹرس دے ڈیمالش دا کوارٹرس اینڈ دے میڈ ملٹی اسٹوری بلڈنگس ان اٹس پلیس ناؤ دس پروجیکٹ واز یو نو مارڈ ود اور یو نو ہیڈ ٹو ڈیل ود اے لاٹ آف کرٹیسزم آن اے نمبر آف اکاؤنٹس ناؤ ون آف دے اکاؤنٹس واز دیٹ از ناٹ پراپرلی یوٹیلائز دا اسپیس دا بلڈنگس لک اگلی دس از جسٹ اے ریپیٹیٹو بلڈنگ اینڈ یو نو دا میجر کرٹیسزم واز فرام دیٹ وین ان میکنگ دس اے لاٹ آف ٹریز ور کٹ یو نو لاٹ آف کرٹیسزم اینڈ لاٹ آف لٹیگیشن اینڈ لاٹ آف پبلک ایکٹیویزم ہیپن اراؤنڈ دیٹ بٹ ٹوڈے وی آر ناٹ گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دیٹ وی جسٹ گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دی ایف اے آر پارٹ ناؤ دس ایسٹ کدوائی نگر فرام جسٹ گراؤنڈ پلس ون ناؤ وی ہیو ریئلی ریئلی ہائی یو نو اسکائی اسکریپرس وچ آر بیسکلی ہاؤزنگ اسکائی اسکریپرس آن ون سائڈ اینڈ اے اسمال پورشن ہیز بین کنورٹیڈ ان ٹو آفس اسپیس یو نو جسٹ ٹو ریکور دا کاسٹ سو دے ووڈ سیل دس آفس اسپیس ٹو پبلک سیکٹر کمپنیز and they would buy it and you know that money is going to has actually funded the development of this you know multiple story you know around 4700 and more dwellings have been created by this you know it's above type 2 type 3 type 4 type uh, 5 6 these kind of quarters have been created for government employees of the central government and tsus mostly central government now the two schools of thought very important that we need to talk about is number one keep far low and regulated and, you know you have a lot of buildings you know in major cities far is one far is 1.33 like in mumbai till a certain time you know and uh, far 1.75 so these are like low far and they're regulated you know you cannot go beyond this which actually means don't densify don't make it more dense and don't redensify for example if you have a central business district which is like very not so tall buildings and you know you see a lot of people coming there a lot of commercial activity happen so you don't densify that area you let the periphery of the city develop you know for example in delhi noida has lot of skyscrapers but delhi as such very few skyscrapers so that means you don't let delhi densify or redensify or redensification of delhi you are not letting like uh, happen in full scale but you're letting peripheries develop now this is the approach so why do they say that because okay they say that the infrastructure is not enough if there are so many tall buildings in that particular space you don't have the roads to carry the traffic that will be generated you don't have the sewage lines to you know cope with that you don't have enough water supply to cope with that you don't have enough enough electricity to cope with that so all the infrastructure is going to get hit traffic becomes a big issue you know as i already mentioned then what to do you know if you ask people who support that you know cities should not be allowed to redensify they say you develop green field projects create more cities give urban amenities to rural areas and all those things the other part of this you know the other school of thought is you know that make fr unlimited you know like there should be no government regulation of fr people will build what is required so they this on this premise that if people have the money if people have the requirement if they can sell enough why don't uh, we simply let them build whatever they want to build because eventually every single brick costs money so you know if people can arrange this much money they are sure that that is going to sell and if that is able to sell that means there is demand so basically you letting demand be met by proper supply that is their approach to uh, you know the second school of thought people who let say unlimited fr now they say that this will have lot of homes available for cities like mumbai the richest of the people in mumbai live in small houses and you know for anybody to just walk into the city and within few years not easy to buy a house as good as impossible the rentals are the rents in mumbai are huge for example if you take india as an example now the other thing that's an advantage that people who support unlimited fr they say that if you you know redensify the city people will not go elsewhere that means lot of farm land which is pure virgin farm land which is being used for agriculture will not be converted into townships and residential societies and more colonies 
so you are saving that farmland from converting into you know city as such then the other thing is that uh, you know they say that if you redensify the city itself with unlimited far allowed you are actually promoting the idea of making cities at the magnet of commerce creativity and innovation because a lot of people will be there in a particular area you know in a dense area to give you an example actually you know these people uh, who support unlimited far also quote a lot of cities worldwide for example dubai has unlimited far tokyo hong kong new york melbourne have you know within the range of 10 to 24 15 somebody 16 but basically above 10 sometimes above 8 also the point is that they have huge far and you know even mumbai recently in this mumbai redevelopment plan ha- 2034 has made far for residential from 1.33 to 3 which is a great leap and uh, for commercial from this value to 5 that's a great increase in permissible far so that means the government is recognizing the need for building vertical now these are the two schools of thought this was about far uh, you know your comments are very very essential so that i want to know what do you think about far because it's your city and your kind of opinion matters so you have to write your comments in the comment section below you know you like the video and you please subscribe to this channel and tell me that what is the area that in far you did not understand in the comments below so thank you thank you very